In this video, we learn about the compound interest formula, which we need to know for our IB mathematical studies exam. Now let's go right ahead and see what the formula is. The formula states that FV equals to PV times 1 plus R over 100K, all of which is raised to the power of KN. Now let's see what each of these terms means. FV stands for future value, so that's how much our investment will be worth after we've invested the money. PV stands for present value, so that's how much money we have to invest to begin with. R is known as the nominal annual interest rate, and it's expressed as a percentage. So say, for instance, we have an interest rate of 12%, then R would equal to 12. If we had an interest rate of 8%, R would equal to 8. K is the number of times interest is compounded. Typically, we'll see exercises in which it's compounded monthly, annually, or quarterly. Finally, N is the number of years of the investment. So if we were to invest money for 10 years, N would equal to 10. If we were to invest money for 3 years, N would equal to 3. Now, just to clarify something about K. How often interest is compounded makes a big difference. And a couple of terms you need to be comfortable with are monthly would mean that k equals to 12, since there are 12 months in a year. Quarterly, k would equal to 4, because there are four quarters, in other words, terms, in a year. That's what k means. Now let's go ahead and work through an example. We're told that Isabel decides to invest 35,000 euros at a nominal annual interest rate of 6% compounded quarterly. And we're asked how much will him, her investment be worth after six years. Now, we'll answer this using our compound interest formula. So just using this question, there are a couple of things that we can point out here. First of all, we can see that Isabel has 35,000 euros. So PV, that's the present value, equals to 35,000. We're also told that the nominal annual interest rate is 6%. So, we can already say that R is equal to 6. We're also told that it's compounded quarterly. This means that K equals to 4. And we're asked how much her investment will be worth after 6 years. So, that means that N is equal to 6. Now, using all of these values here, we can just plug these into our formula and calculate the future value of Isabel's investment. And we can go right ahead and say FV equals to 35,000 times 1 plus 6 over 100 times 4, all of which is raised to the power of KN, so that's 4 times 6. Simplifying this a bit, leads us to 35,000 times 1 plus 6 over 400 raised to the power of 24. And simplifying further, we find that this is 35,000 times 1 plus 0 0.015 raised to the power of 24. Finally, we can write this as FV equals to 35,000 times 1.015 raised to the power of 24. And so, using our calculator and rounding to the nearest unit, we find that the future value is equal to 38,271. So by the end of her investment, Isabel will have 38,271 euros, which I'll just write here. 38,271 euros.